Hey everybody, it's Jerry here, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new episode. This is episode 8 of Crash of the Titans. The Crash of the Titans Jerry plays on the, the, the channel and stuff like that. So since I do not have anyone asking me any questions due to the fact that, uh, you know, I uploaded the episodes daily, like day after day, you know, there's not, and that the videos are long and stuff like that, you know, I figured I'm not going to really get that much questions or get any questions at all, at all. so I'm going to improvise in this video. Uh, today I have well before I get to that we're gonna take on episode 18 and 19 and I'll save 20 for the last episode Which means I'll finish this series in nine parts uh, So this is definitely gonna be one of my more shorter, but I guess regularly or healthily uh, Length series is series on my channel and stuff, but yeah, I have a guest with me a supporter of mine a viewer of mine and uh, He's familiar with I think I think all the crash games and shit and he's played this along with its sequel, so he could give his two cents on the game and the franchise overall. And he's gonna ask me some questions, and I'm gonna ask him some questions, maybe, and all that. So, yeah, go ahead and introduce yourself before I replay this episode. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, my name's Crow. Thank you for having me, Jerry. Yeah, no honestly, problem, dude. honored. Thank you. Oh, that's it. That's it. I thought. I thought you were going. Okay, like, uh, okay. Whatever. Whatever. We'll get, to it, mean... we'll get to it. 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 Once we're in the meat and potatoes of the episode. So yeah. Right. Right. Let's uh go ahead and replay this. Uh, there's a cutscene that's gonna play, so I'm gonna just shut up as the screen loads. Got all it. that shit. Episode 18: War of the Worlds. This is as far as I can take us. We'll have to fight our way to the robot's interior and save your sister. Shagaba! All right, so here we are in, I suppose, Cortex's uh, fucking mansion or whatever. This this level really reminds me of uh, Twin Sanity's Classroom Chaos. You know, except without the actual boring fucking Cortex gameplay or whatever. And the Spiral Mouth tune. Crash's, uh... Uh, I, I prefer Crash's, uh, Classroom Chaos theme or whatever. Alright, I'm going to bed on a whim here. I'm losing my mind a bit. But, uh, yeah, Crow, so tell me. Uh, what, 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 like, got you interested in the series? Show your, share well, your history with my channel and all that bullshit and all that crap. All right, which one do you want me to talk about first? Uh, either Crash or the history with your channel? Because I can uh, do either at the moment. I feel like you should just... Oh, fuck, the ill guy. Uh, you should do the series... The, the, not the series, the, the channel thing first, and then we can talk about the series. Right, right. All right, so I meant to say this in the intro, but, you know, Jitter is a little bit nervous doing a video. But, um, you know, to, like, with, with your channel, uh, I actually got introduced to your channel because of the crash bandicoot stuff that you used to do and it was like a while back like uh the the crash bandicoot 2010 coverage oh god when you were yeah yeah when you <laughs> yeah way back then um i was super like interested in um in crash bandicoot 2010 it's like one of those canceled games that i wanted to actually happen so bad looking at the concept art of it and looking at the ideas that the developers had for that game right i i was like I wanted that thing to be like a, a real thing and I was just looking at it and I stumbled across your channel and when you were covering it yeah and so that's how I got introduced to your channel and um, o over the years as your content has grown I'm just like yeah you know what this this dude is I, I fuck with this dude yeah. Hey. but yeah over uh, over the years I've been like you know poking my head out of the uh, out of the uh, the viewer see i guess i don't know what analogy to use yeah i know but, what you mean um, you know just just coming out of the shell and actually uh talking with you right but That's it's cool. it's been years i've been a long time viewer yeah. uh mostly because of the crash bandicoot stuff and uh getting on to the uh crash bandicoot stuff and with my experiences series, with yeah. crash yeah all right bro let me let me talk about the sonic's ass game um <laughs> <laughs> with uh the i started this series off with crash one it was actually the first video game i ever played oh sweet uh yeah fun, funny story uh on why though is mostly because it was my mom that played uh crash bandicoot herself while uh while she was while she was pregnant 
I was I was in the womb and what she was playing fuck? Crash Bandicoot. This nigga has <laughs> Crash in his blood, like actually in his blood. Wow. Shout out yeah, to for mom. real. Damn. For real, I came out. Uh, I came out and my mom handed me the controller and be like, "Yo, play this." <laughs> and wow. I got I got hooked. The Bandicoot is the reason I'm into video games today. That's awesome, dude. That's really awesome. Damn. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, bro. It's nuts, expand. But... Try to uh, expand upon the discussion with like the freaking games. Yeah, right, right. Okay, In any way so, you want, uh, so just freestyle, yo. Freestyle. All right. Let me go down. Um, do you want me to go down from like beginning to end, like finally getting to Titans and then Minor Mutant? Uh, stuff whatever, like that? Whatever, whatever you feel, bro. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm uh, these dumbass Titans. All right. In the beginning, with uh, with Crash One. Right. So. Uh, I still, I still play, uh, I still occasionally pop in and play Crash 1 to this day. I still believe it is a really good game. Like, some people will want to, um, some people will come back to Crash 1 and will yeah. just love to tear into it for saying that it's, like, really, like, clunky, stiff controls, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I personally love it. I, I still, I still love Crash 1 to this day. I'll still, like... I'll, I'll still like bite my controller over slippery climb, but I will still adore the game to death <laughs> to this day. Right. Maybe, maybe a little bit of bias, but I don't, but I don't give a shit. Right. <laughs> I love it. But um, yeah, that's that's Crash One for me. I absolutely uh, still love the music. Iconic. Just uh, you know, it's it's good beginnings for uh, for the good band. Right. Uh, it's sequel Crash Two marvelous game i uh, if you if you say it okay i'm gonna say this right now <laughs> all right it's <laughs> hard facts all right if yeah. you if you tell me that crash 2 isn't the best out of the trilogy in my eyes you wrong as fuck <laughs> <laughs> hard take hard take crash 2 the best of the trilogy uh but um, no, I absolutely love Crash 2. It right. is like one of the perfect examples of how you do a sequel for a video game. It like actually expands upon controls and giving Crash abilities, uh, more abilities. Uh, the, the stages from um, aesthetic to music, level design, it's all, it's all good. Bonus, all good. Um, even like even some of the smaller stuff like uh like uh the polar bear riding oh yeah uh, stages stuff like that um those are still worked really well not like not like crazy vehicle levels uh, I'll, I'll get to the crash games that do have them yeah um give you my opinions on those but um no for real crash 2 one of my favorite platform games of all time right um definitely the best in the trilogy for me i absolutely i even even with like some of its uh darker elements like some people don't really like talk about crash 2's like kind of darker feel i guess you could say yeah. i remember okay funny funny fact uh funny little uh fact you should know about me um <laughs> as a kid yeah. i would be terrified of getting a game over in Crash 2 because the game over screen of Cortex. Cortex's big ass head yeah. would make would make me shit my pants as a kid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he'd be like, game over. And I'd just be like, ow, oh, okay, go away now. Right. Oh my god, yeah, but Yeah, but some of like the darker feel of Crash 2 I absolutely love as well. Because yeah, it um, does have a somewhat gritty like um atmosphere in a way it, it does bring like a bit more of like a, a serious tone but not like too serious yeah it was not talking like shadow the hedgehog levels yeah, no yeah, yeah. it was the but... most balanced crash game really yeah definitely. i think i think the second uh darkest is like twin sanity which for sure but uh we can yeah. get to that yeah. later but you can get yeah to that we'll... later, rather. yeah but like I, I love the story in it as well as uh, like the the side story of having embryo actually being the good guy and you have a motive for like collecting the gems as right. well like plot wise. Mm -hmm. So like the gems aren't just like an extra collectible; they're also a plot device, right. which is actually like gives them a lot more meaning. Right. So that's that's also really cool. It gives me a 
It gives anybody a reason to actually 100% the game. And seeing that ending of, like, the Cortex Vortex exploding is, like, so satisfying <laughs> after all you've done. Right. Uh, especially, I'll take that over, like, the really shitty final boss with the uh, with Cortex. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Like, the bad, like, if there's anything bad about the game, if, there, if, like, one video, like, if every video game has one bad thing about it, I'm glad that it was at least, like, um, only one bad thing with Crash 2, but yeah. a final boss with Cortex is just ass play. <laughs> yeah. um, Next game, if you, you know, if you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Warped. I'm not gonna say Warped is trash, because that is not fact, but I tell you what, uh, I will tell you what is fact, it's mixed. Um... <laughs> With uh, with my ex with my experience of warped, I my brother and I absolutely uh, loved it to death. We played it like we kind of like would take turns with it. It's our own like little multiplayer kind of thing where it's like, oh, you lost the life, give me that. Yeah. Um, but no, warped is still just the biggest part as like the trilogy of any other like any other game in the trilogy. But um, with with warped. It's it's good. It's basically Crash 2, but um, you shove in the vehicles, and I'm gonna tell you about the vehicles right now. Most of them don't really live up too well. All right. Of them aren't really that good. Oh, we finished episode 18, by the way. Uh. Oh. With. Uh, uh, bruh, hold on. Probably the uh, probably the motorcycle one. Uh, oh, what's up? I was going to say, try to summarize as much as you can, uh, because we're on episode 19 now. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right. So you're right, right now. I'm going to. Okay. So right now I'm on three. I'll yeah. tell you the ones that, um, for, for the most part, uh, what you need to know about three is that like, I just don't really like some of the, uh, some of the vehicles. And mm -hmm. for the most part, like 70% of the game is kind of not that big of a percentage. I'm going to say it's like 50, 50 on like actual platforming levels okay. and vehicles, which is, you know, wh why it kind of knocks it down a peg in the trilogy. All right. But, uh, yeah. So it, it kind of goes from like, uh, number one being two to two being three. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know which one I put above that like two like three or one i don't know which one is better i can't really decide nice whatever but, all right uh, all right cool um wrath of cortex trash all right next game <laughs> yeah next game <laughs> <laughs> next game <laughs> I'm, I'm glad i'm glad we're on the same page on that all right i'm not gonna talk about wrath of cortex it. yeah i'll say it's like the 06 of crash um <laughs> yeah, go on. And Twin Sanity. Um Bro, Twin Sanity, I love it. I could see why like people I could see why some people would like not really like it as much, but I really feel like it is a I really feel like it is a, a pretty damn good game and I just love it more for its uh for its style. Yeah. Um I love its uh, I love its visuals. I love its um, levels. Uh, it's it's variety too in like in styles with the way it handles the levels. Like going from uh, going from like um, insanity insanity island to uh, Cortex's really cool ice laboratory. Yeah, right. And uh, going into like classroom chaos. That that shit was so much fun. Oh yeah, big facts. Um, even the bosses, uh, I didn't really talk much about bosses in, like, in, like, Crash, but, like, all of them are pretty memorable in their design and the way they're handled. It, it's fun for, like, uh, all three games, uh, <laughs> uh, Wrath of Cortex, of course not, but, yeah, uh, Twin Sanity, bosses are kind of, are kind of meh. Dingo Dial was, uh, very exciting. Oh, yeah, that's the best Dingo Dial boss fight in the entire series. Honestly, facts. Um, but the whole the whole story of uh, of Twin Sanity is um, is insane, but it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I I still I still love its plot. It still yeah it still works. Oh yeah. I love having like Cortex lose his brain. That shit made me crack up as a kid. Yeah. Uh, 
but yeah uh to insanity it's still it's still a pretty good game uh i love it more for rather than like i, I love the openness in terms of gameplay the open-ended level because that shit is not open world my nigga yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's open-ended now open like world. Linear, i'm not gonna say open world i didn't know what word to yeah, use no, that's cool. like, it's like a hat in time banjo kazooie like open-ended levels except like the progression is still linear essentially yeah so, yeah, yeah. I, I still love that because it was more it, it was more space given than your than your casual crash game right so that was nice to see but uh i love twin sand anymore for the other reasons the music bruh spiral oh, yeah. mouth probably best probably best soundtrack for uh for for crash yeah. like um it's it you I, you gotta love spiral mouth i absolutely i still casually like listen to the to the twin sanity ost from time to time yeah. um but yeah that's that's my thoughts on twin sanity okay Love i it. got two questions do you What's think up? crash bash suffers from just just say yes or no to these because you you missed these but uh okay. we're, gonna, we're gonna get to the like the major ones uh, i'm just giving i'm just throwing in the spin-offs for now but do you think that crash team racing is one of the best kart racers ever and do you think Crash Bash suffers from, uh, you know, the lack of a proper single-player uh, uh, fun factor? Bro, I'm so that. sorry. I glossed over those two games. How the yeah. hell did I do that? Yeah. Um, but... Do you think tag team racing is unique? I mean, half platformer, half car racing. A lot of people try to give it this idea. Not a lot of people, but I think some people try to give it this identity. They have this ideology that tag team racing suffers from an identity crisis, even though it doesn't. But yeah. So yeah. <laughs> just answer it in three in, in those three uh, three words. Uh, yeah. And also in that in, in that order. CTR bash to CTTR, and then you could get to Titans and Modern Moon. Alright. Like okay. Insane trilogy, I guess. CTR, yes. Uh Crash Bash, I still have fun with it, uh, but I do agree that it suffers. So right. yeah. But um C T T R Bro, I don't know. It's it's mixed for me. You feel mixed about it's it? Like, That's one of my favorite yeah, I, crash I, I games personally. Mixed. Yeah, it's like I, I look I, at it as like Twin Sanity, like 1.5, 2.0, sort of. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, Spider Man still did the soundtrack for that game. Oh yeah, yeah. I still I still like the I still like the soundtrack for uh for tag team racing, and I, I also like the uh, I also like um the the atmosphere that it brings from Twin Sanity. Mm -hmm. And the and the racing itself is pretty good. I like the clashing mechanic. That's oh, like yeah. that's dope. But uh, yeah, that's I, I'm mixed about tag team racing only because of like mm, it's it's plot in the way that they kind of like straight like the way the game itself just kind of like adds a few like kind of like adds a few like dumb things about it. Okay. I like the dioramas. You know, though. Like, you know, as a yeah, kid, yeah, that you know, shit I was, got just, me I was just about to mention that too. I think the dioramas and like the uh, the gags and the costumes and all, I think that's actually the one Crash Bandicoot game that's completed, that's not rushed, that had two years of development. Because you only need two years to make a good Crash game for real. It's fucking Crash Bandicoot, and I think it has like the most. Oh shit, I died. I think it has the most content too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree with that. It's it's definitely like the most complete. I, I like the fact that you have like. A little bit of like a little bit of extras like skins and for crash and stuff like mm, that like cars. a bit of extra carts yeah. yeah i love the cars dude mm -hmm. uh, but yeah i i definitely i definitely agree with that uh, yeah. i love i straight. i just i like it straight i like it i do like crash tag team racing <laughs> okay all right and what do you think about yeah uh, you're, you're making me think all that shit. <laughs> yeah that's all good um what do you think about uh this game and you know the sequel and shit talk about it because you're familiar okay. with it all right so getting into titans um i love the art style of this game like oh, yeah. the, the way the game is artistically designed is like very eye-catching because it's like all it, it's like mostly like bent out of shape and right. all the colors are used in like the colors that are used are like very pleasant on the eyes mm-hmm I also love how like the camera like kind of like like sometimes the camera can get a little like weird yeah. but like for the most part like having the camera zoomed out as much as it is like it, it works when catching when like capturing the environment right like sometimes the camera like 
gives you space in certain areas to kind of just soak in how good the level design is or right. how good the levels are artistically mm -hmm. so i i love that about titans its art direction is great i love it um character designs all right i'm gonna be honest with you i was one of those kids that blindly uh that blindly hated this game even were you on the internet at the time it. when you saw these designs yes that's why probably but go on yeah it's it's definitely why i'm not gonna like act like it wasn't yeah. but um i i blindly hated this game until about 2010 when i actually uh got the got the game for myself it was like i'll never forget how i got it either it's it's so funny because like um because like it was just christmas morning and then like i left a beach towel at my uncle's house or something and so my uncle came over yeah. and got like this big box in, in like uh under the tree and from him and so when i grabbed it and it was just my beach towel when i like lifted the lid i was yeah. like what kind of prank are you pulling and then i take the towel off and it's a ps2 copy of titans oh shit. i was like oh oh thank you you slick all right yeah <laughs> so i actually a after that i actually got to playing the game and i uh, being straight i loved it i, I like I, I love the gameplay of uh, of Titans. It's actually like um, I, I remember having like so many like vivid memories of uh, of playing co-op with my brother and oh, how amazing. oh co-ops like I love. I agree with you on the fact that co-op in this game is so slept on. Yeah. Like it's uh, <laughs> even with like car I, I don't care about Carbon Crash. Like yeah, it, it's still it's still pretty it, it's still pretty good to have like. Uh, like a multiplayer option in this game yeah. to begin with mm -hmm. and the way it's also handled is done like pretty damn well uh, my brother and I had a blast with this game and even playing it on my own going back to it it still holds up pretty well um, okay character designs going back to that I blindly hated this game mostly because of that and how the fan base just did not agree with this design how like crash just Crash just looks like a sheen. <laughs> uh, That's wild. Just, uh, the, yeah. That's wild. I've but, never heard no shit like that. <laughs> yeah, looking like sheen. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's just seen memes of it everywhere. It gets stuck in my head. But, um, the, like, looking back on the designs now, uh, it's not too bad. I still, still kind look, of don't, I, I still don't. I, I, I don't was know. Say, I, I feel as though they, they still look recognizable. And Crash yeah, Bandicoot, yeah. I believe, was a teenager at this time, and he goddamn was. So the tats, they work in that favor, as well as the fact that uh, when you jack a Titan, his tattoos appear on the Titan. So it's not just an aesthetic choice that they wanted to do. It actually yeah, complements somewhat of the, the lore and how jacking works, the concept, I should say. But yeah, go on. Yeah, like the bond with the Titans kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. Yeah. Um, that's, that's still like that's that's pretty good i mean like i'm not too bothered by the ta the tattoos yeah. and now that it's got like uh now that there's like more of a purpose to it when yeah. it comes to crash like coming together with the titans that's pretty cool yeah. um but uh designs looking at all the characters in this game um they're they're all they like you said they're still pretty recognizable they're all pretty good i like how crunch has like a full metal arm yeah um yeah. Coco looks really good. Um, Mind over mutant might be a better design, but uh, Coco yeah. in Titans oh, is still on. pretty good. That's yeah. Good. Your brother's close, but he's oh so far, Blondie. The Duminator's finished. What are you telling me for? You made me finish it. Now we've got an appointment to smash Wampa Island flat. Not Wampa Island. Our house is there and all our stuff. Oh, and maybe crunch. Yeah, and I can't wait. Dingus, doofus. Time to start the fun. All right, we're done with that episode, and now we'll just leave the rest, the the rest of this episode to, uh, you know, what you had to say. So yeah. All right. Um. Well, going back to designs, right. I think the only designs that I don't agree with, uh. Well, the most common one, Tiny Tiger. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really agree with Tiny Tigers. Okay. Um, second one, yeah. probably Uka Uka. Okay. Yeah, those Uka are like the Uka's most... very weird. 
those are the ones that like stick out like a sore thumb for real one for real character design that i love that that like i feel like is objectively like better because nina looked fucking ugly in the past you games. right <laughs> was nina nina got the greatest like yeah improvement bruh oh my god and she talks like it, it just it yeah just actually works. talk yeah yeah her character in this game is like so like it, i didn't think it was possible to like grow that much mm -hmm. yeah dude but um yeah definitely uh I like Cortex's design. It's pretty. It's pretty decent I mean, for what it is in this game. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and then going to Mind Over Mutant, I, I still kind of have the my thoughts on Titans kind of pertain to that game as well. Yeah. Um, I still I still really like this game. Like going back to it mm -hmm. for even even nowadays when I just casually go back and playing it. Right. Uh, I like the I like the unique art styles and like cutscenes. Yeah. For the game too it, it brings like a little bit of it, it brings a little bit of surprise and variety when you're going through the plot of the game yeah also bringing back embryo is uh it's also a pleasant surprise yeah that was really good oh uh, you can also yeah. dig in that game like you couldn't crash too so yeah yeah mm -hmm. for real i just it yeah honestly um i mean what else what else could i talk about are you appreciative of the creativity that radical could do for crash bandicoot before they got before they became defunct absolutely right. honestly it's like you you could you could like uh, i like i glossed over it as a kid obviously but yeah. growing up and looking at it i, I love like artistic uh, i love art styles in games yeah and so like looking back on what radical did for crash was actually a really good and fresh artist artistic take on crash bandicoot and I love what they did, and I would have loved to see what they could have done with Crash Bandicoot 2010 if they had the chance to actually fully release it. Uh, big facts, big facts. Is that all? Is that all? Is that all you can say for the moment? Because uh, right now I'm just viewing concept art. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Game Boy games, pretty oh, good, yeah. except for purple. Purple is trash. Damn. Uh, <laughs> uh, honestly, it's. I, I mean, it's not. It's not all trash it's just it's all it it's what the fuck you, you, you are platforming no characters yeah. doing <laughs> yeah. games in a it's it's dumb it's dumb yeah you know yeah you are y'all already know why mm -hmm. um but as to which one's my favorite um entranced for me that's my yeah i play i played entranced more than the huge adventure yeah um maybe if i i played more of the the huge adventure that might change yeah. but um with with entranced i gotta stick with entranced i yeah. played that a lot entranced more is my favorite in the series but i think that uh uh crash 2 cortex strikes back is the best in the series in terms right. of like how kind of i don't want to say groundbreaking it is but you know a big of a jump it was and presentation and everything like that just how it is right right oh wait what do you think of crash nitro cart nitro cart it's okay yeah i enjoy it um it is pretty much a reskin of ctr essentially but it, it does definitely have its own identity which i can't deny every single crash bandicoot game have it has its own identity and that's what i respect about the series and shit and it is versatile oh, yeah. But I feel like uh, a lot of casuals and a lot of people, I call them old heads, like with this fucking hip hop, they're, they're pretty much stuck in, <laughs> they're like stuck in the past. They want Crash to stay linear when that's not how a series should grow. Uh, and I think yeah. when, I think these future devs for the Crash series, if they, you know, if we get new Crash games, I think they should definitely look at Titans and Modern Remuting and shit, even Crash 2010's canceled ass. They should look at those titles and uh, use those as for reference, uh, you know, as an inspiration to strive bigger and better for crash bandicoot because if sonic can do it even though sonic gets a lot of lash the series is extremely fucking versatile which is why i love it and you know with mario odyssey use mario odyssey as an example and just go all out with with, with a, a new crash game it doesn't have to be open world it could just have open-ended levels but still maintain that linear aspect that crash bandicoot is most identical for uh most memorable for but don't be afraid to do new shit because we were going to get an open world crash game to insanity but it couldn't do it because of time constraints because it was rushed don't rush the next fucking crash game so yeah big facts that's all i can big really say facts, yeah uh, yeah for real 
all I would say is just you know pick up from where you let pick up from where like Crash Bandicoot 2010 left off. I think he had like w something really good going on there, and just kind of like uh, work around it. If you want to make any changes, that's that's fine by me. Go right ahead. I just want like something new with the Crash Bandicoot series. A lot of people keep saying like you know we'll all oh, remaster the CTR, uh, remaster like a tetralogy, whatever, whatever the fuck. No, bro. Yeah. May bring out something new. Bring out something fresh. Crash needs something new at this point. Mm -hmm. Dead ass. Like Insane Trilogy was already the biggest love letter you can get. You can get. For and real. If CTR does come into fruition, I won't be mad. I won't be mad, but. I prefer getting a new game and then getting this and yeah. then and then getting a new kart racer or getting a new game then getting the insane trilogy then getting ctr rematch like that would have been cool but things are a little different it's kind of hard to tell with what they'll do next but uh we'll see but yeah that's right. gonna be it for uh, this episode the last episode will be episode 20 i'm gonna be taking care of that with my boy uh well I said that in the last episode, but I don't think nobody really focused. But his name will be in the title in the next episode. But yeah, I got another guest uh, coming on for the last episode of Crash of the Titans. And yeah, so Carl, thanks for being in here. I oh, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. It's been fun uh, getting some, I uh, guess, some retrospective and all that. But yeah, I'm going to end it. And yeah, you guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next uh, episode of Titans, the last episode of Titans, episode 9 on YouTube, but episode 20 in game. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. Peace. See you guys around. Take care.